For now, we're going to go playing with fire, which the Kuropeko is going to be interesting because it is a fire-based guy. I did look up some other combos, like I said I would, and what we got is uh, pretty much some a combo that gives us a bit more stamina, a bit more health. And we have the food bonus as well, so our stamina is not going to be going nearly as quickly. Now, to use the lance, there are different attacks you can do. There's the high attack, there's the low attack, there is this part, and then I believe there is a, there should be a charge as well. I don't really use it too much though. But yeah, you want to be able to go in advance like that. Yeah, so I don't, I use the shield charge so little I don't actually remember how to do it. But I'm definitely not going to be using it for this fight. I think it may actually be hitting the plus button on the uh, controller scheme. Here. All right now that's a kick, so. And unfortunately, in, with the lance, you can't hop. You have to hop. There we go. Yeah, so there we go. I'm just going to look for the boss. Pretty sure I know where he is. So again, that's kind of like a little desert oasis right there. Not bad. Thought we'd be hunting in a drier, drier desert. But obviously he's not here now. We're just going to go try and cut all the way across the map, because this is probably where that guy is. Entirely possible that's in one of these. There we go. So here's Kuropeko, one of my uh, favorite looking bosses from this game. Oh look, great Jaggy, just wandering around like he owns the place. And there's this guy. He has little flints on his hand. He has a beak you can break, which you want to break. And now he's going to fly off, apparently. So there's a great Jaggy just wandering around as well. So we'll see if we can find our friend here. In the desert. I think I know where he went. I don't really feel like fighting the Great Jaggy right now since I've done it so many times. Is there anybody over here? I think that'd be a negative. There we go. Given a lot of the other high res textures. There we go. Hey you. How's it going? We just got tagged. Unfortunately, I do have kind of poor aim with this. Now, another nice thing about the lance is that you can use the charge attack to actually get around pretty quickly. You can use the uh, poke ability to kind of hop step. But we do not want to get caught on fire right now. That is exactly what just happened. So I'm burning, go in the water, or dive in the water, whatever. That works. Yeah, I'm a little rusty with my lance play here. So right now he's whooping my butt. And if I can't do this with the lance, I'll just go back with the hammer, because I know I can do it with the hammer. He's just so much easier to hit, because you can't really hit him flying around like this. I should learn to keep my shield up a little more. Okay, bad, bad aim there. Okay, so he's gonna do his charge attack in just a moment. Oh, he's gonna spit some crap. Okay. Now, you actually don't want him to get that song off, because he actually can't heal himself like that. And he can also summon other monsters. Okay, definitely don't want to be taking the wall on that. Inventory management at its worst. 
Oh, actually, you got some pretty far aim, Mr. Kurapeko. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, unfortunately my lance is doing a lot of glancing blows here. So yeah, the struggling just a little bit. But definitely not out gearing this guy. Just get a little closer. I can't really close distance nearly as well without putting up my weapon. There we go. Knocked him. That hit will actually hurt me for about half my life if he does get a, if he does actually get that big spark charge off. Okay, come on, come on. I will take that trade, I guess, so I can just potion back up. By the way, if you notice the red bar at the top there, if you don't take healing potions or items, your life will restore back to there. Alright. Oh, no, did not want to jump back into that. Okay. Cha cha, just roll in the water. You're as tall as the water is deep. Okay, so he's flying off now. Let's go ahead and use another whetstone. And this is exactly why you paint ball things, because you can follow the shadow pretty generally. But once it gets to later on, it's not going to work as well. So we're down to mega potions right now. Do not want to accidentally drink a hot drink. So we'll see how we do here. Love to break off those little flint things, but do not know if I have the gear for it or not. Please kill those cats. There we go. Thank you. Big monster was scary weak. If he was just hammering up, I couldn't hit him while he was flying. Be more than a little irritated because this guy spends so much time flying. Okay, now the great Jaggy's here, so you're going to get to see... And my map was stolen! Okay, so... Things just got a little more real than I'd like. And ideally, these guys would attack each other, but it looks like they're trying to gangbang on Cha-Cha. So, that's funny. Of all the things you take, you think you, t you take a map. Let me just heal here real quick. Cha-Cha's like, I'm getting the F out of here. Oh, I did. that's why I need to not hit X button. I think it's Y. Okay, jump dodging is for the win. Ran out of stamina there just in time. Didn't want that going off, but there's not a lot I can do there. Okay, so now he's hurt. That's so much. So 
now cooling's worn off, so if I go back there again, I'm going to need to get some. Probably do that now. And my paintball's probably going to wear off soon as well. I got plenty of those. Because once he really starts to hurt, he's going to run away to kind of his sanctuary place, which... First time I played, I fought him. I remember not paintballing him and having no idea. But unfortunately, there's Jagia and monsters all around. Now, blocking is useful with the shield, but it does take stamina, so. There we go, that's what we wanted to see. One thing you actually can do is... Oh, no, no, no. Well, technically, one good strategy is to charge, lance charge into somebody that's fallen, but I obviously missed his face. Okay, I don't know if my weapon's going to be strong enough to break his neck here. Yeah, I probably should have whetstoned again, but... What am I saying? We can whetstone right now. Oh, thank you, Raptors, for actually fighting next. Oh, you, you bitches. Okay, so, great Jaggies here. Is this little bug actually going to sting me and keep me from doing this? Thank you, Cha Cha, for distracting you. I am sorry for all the terrible things I said about you before. Okay, so. What would be really nice is if these guys just decided to fight each other. Now, is it possible to kill the Great Jaggy and Kurapeko at the same fight? Yes. Do you get a bonus for it? Yes. But right now, my goal is just to hit up both of these guys. See, so we knocked you down again, so... This time we're not going to fool around, we're just going to go straight for the beak. And he's going to go straight for my face. It's kind of a stupid move. Okay, so... Wow, he's trying to run and he failed miserably. Okay, what's my shiny? Probably nothing worth getting. Wevern tier, yeah. I was Maybe it was, I don't know. But whatever's going on, our friend Kurapeko is hurting. And notice that I'm kind of ignoring the Great Jaggy. He can just kind of do his own thing. I already broke his face. Now, the Great Jaggy's actually weak to fire, so those... Attacks are super effective by Kurapeko. Oh, man, this is not the time to be running out of stamina. So yeah, intense stuff. This is why this is why I like monster hunters because you get. Hey, look! Remember that guy that was a boss for you before? Yeah, now he's not. There's other games that do this as well. That's true. But I mean, it's. I think the Shadow of Colossus thing applies, because eventually it's like, hey look, there's this really terrible, awful creature that has fucked you up in the past. Now fight three different things at the same time along with it. Okay, so now it's kind of like we're going 2v2 here. Can I knock you out of the air? Not this time. I just really want to break your beak. I don't think that's happening. You're going to actually hear another nice feature here, is that the music, if I don't keep getting hit, is about to transition to great jaggy music. Now, depending on where this guy flies away, that's going to kind of determine... Okay, so he's flown back up there. If I'm not careful, I'm going to get myself killed here. Now, how do you survive that, Mr. Jake? There is a bone piercing your brain. 
Okay, I've got to get serious here or we'll die. Yep. Ah. <sighs> 